Alola guys, this is Sharona Ralu. How's everybody doing today? On the last episode, we um, didn't do very much except for like exploring the uh, city a little bit more. After that, we actually met up with uh, Captain Nalima and also the two grunts of uh, Team Skull. And we managed to beat Captain Nalima and Team Skull all in together. And now that we're here in Route 2, I actually... Um, I actually tried to get, like, Magnemite into the levels that he needed to be, but I think he's gonna do okay, because even though I got my experience share on, it's always best to actually, like, turn it off just in case, because, um, sometimes if you get, like, too much of a level, then that could be, like, a little bit a big problem. But, in other words, I think we should, like, uh, keep, uh, keep, keep continuing on. I can hardly even speak about it. Okay, so... Oh, hello! Hello, Smeargle. How are you doing, buddy? This Smeargle can actually be very useful for, like, uh, using Sketch a lot. And not to mention that has, like, uh, some of the moves that you want to actually have him learn. So, what I find that so cool is that one of my friends was actually trying to capture all the Smeargles as best he can. And every single one of them that he actually did, and then he ends up like, um, he ends up like, uh, you know, like, um, oh, what do you call it? Um, trying to get all moves and then have Smeargle be the best Pokemon in the world. And he has, like, uh, have one of his Pokemon that learns, uh, moves, and then, uh, Smeargle just sketch it, and then he just capture it. So I just find that extremely awesome. Okay, so I don't think. Uh, Pokemon can learn the unit. Okay. Uh, this place right here. This is mainly like a, one of those, um, uh, what do you call them? A uh, inn? Like, you know, like a sit in? In other words, it's like an inn, like a I N N. So, this place can be kind of useful, but then again, it cannot be useful because. In its own way, you can't really, like, sleep in anybody's, uh, freaking inn. Like, seriously, you just can't. So I find that extremely sucky. Because, uh, there's not much you could do, because you can't really, like, sleep and all that. You, you can't be, like, like, um, like Legend of Zelda Skyward Sword that saying that you can sleep, uh, on the bed until the next night or the next day. And that pretty much kind of sucks about that. Like, that would be awesome to do it. But, in other words, it isn't uh, worth my time for that. So, that pretty much really sucks. So, anyways. Oh, look, it's another trainer. So, mainly this is my uh, third recording take of this today. Because, since I never got the chance to actually record with you guys. Or actually do any of my drawings. Because I've been so busy last week and I've been busy today so I'm a bit on the very tired side because after like uh, last week I've been telling you guys I've been actually working in my horse stall to uh, bring one of my friends' horse uh, here and then after that um, then I actually uh, worked uh, downstairs for a little bit so I'm a bit on the very tired side not to mention I went to work today so
All right, take two of freaking battle against Team Skull. I have a funny feeling it's going to be a double battle. No, it's just a single battle. Okay. No big deal. That's not a big deal. That's not really a problem. Although that Hypno is a very big problem. <laughs> I hate Hypnos. Actually, no, not Hypno. Sorry. Uh, drowsy, I meant to say. I do not like Drowsies at all. I really don't. Especially with Hypnos. I really don't like these Pokemon. And I can tell you why, because I know I said this before, but I'm going to say it again. Hypnos and Drowsies are fucking evil creatures. They attempt to actually like Hypnosis to the children, lead them away from their parents, and then never been seen again. So in other words, these Pokemon are evil. Like seriously. And you know how I told you that Wobbuffets are evil? These guys are also evil. Like, seriously, there are many Pokemon that are going to be evil. Anyways, we beat him. No biggie. What are you doing, Deli Bird? So, okay, we have, like, berry patches here. So, this is pretty cool how you can actually just pick up berries out of the trees. And they go by, like, um, uh, daily. In other words, that so you can get them every day if you wanted to. So, these berries are actually really useful because you don't have to, like, plant the berries, but you can actually, like, uh, get the berries, um... Like, uh, get the berries, uh, from the tree that they're, they're on the ground. But there is one specific berry that you're gonna have to, like, uh, like a berry patch that you're gonna have to watch out for. I mean, once when we get to that point, you'll see what I fucking mean. Because, holy shit, it's gonna be a monstrosity. But, in other words, I want to, like, look around to see if there's any freaking items. Because... There was, like, one hidden item that I wanted to get because, um, you guys' repels are always, uh, useful. Also, I got myself a big mushroom, which is a really good way to actually sell the item. Um, oh, yep, I knew there were some of them here. So, yeah, it's a pretty cool way to actually get the berries here because, again, again, I really love this game. Also, look at all these Della birds. Della bird, della bird, della, della, della bird. There should be. Yep, that's the one. He gives you a revive. Thank you, buddy. Because uh, also these deli birds, uh, they may not be a really good Pokemon. But I gotta say, they're like uh, mini little Santa Clauses. Like, seriously. They're like mini little Santa Claus. And they're just kind of cute. They really are. They're really kind of cute once when you get to know them. And, uh, yeah, it's just really awesome to, like, see them because they're really funny because not only they use their bags to, like, attack you, but they also use those bags to, like, heal you, which I find that extremely hilarious. And, uh, yeah, I just find that really funny because the way they do that, it's just hilarious because... I just can't help it but uh, laugh about that because every time they're like blasting you with a freaking, um, with their freaking uh, bag bombs, as I call it, but uh, it's also very funny how they can heal you in one shot. So, yeah, I'm gonna take a sip really quick.
I keep on forgetting that Cottony is actually um, a grass uh, fairy type Pokemon. I keep on forgetting about that. Because ever since I actually uh, got used to like um, Pokemon's other type and then they added a new one since Pokemon X and Y. And it was really funny because I ended up like uh, forgetting that the Pokemon that we know before X and Y actually came out actually got new types of, like, fairy types. Like, like Mr. Mime, for instance. I got used to Mr. Mime saying that, um, that Mr. Mime is actually, like, um, just a psychic Pokemon. And then it turned out to be, like, a fairy type as well. So I find that extremely hilarious how they actually put fairy type Pokemon in the Pokemon we knew and then just leave it at, like that. And I just find that extremely hilarious. Ugh, excuse me. I had a burp, so. Uh, so yeah, I just find that extremely funny because the way they do that to actually make sure that Pokemon have their different types and, uh, making sure that new Pokemon, uh, that the po old Pokemon that we know from other regions actually has, like, a new types. So, it's pretty funny. But anyways, uh, now that we got that done, I'm going to, like, freaking heal uh, my Magnemite. Because Magnemite needs some healing adjustments. Okay, so, moving right along. There's a Pokeball right here I want to get. And I don't want to go to that um, location yet because I also have to go the other way around. But sometimes these Pokemon can be a little bit annoying sometimes. And, oh, look, it's a Growlithe! That's cool. I was thinking about using Growlithe, but I decided not to, actually, because there's a specific Pokemon I want to use that I haven't used for so many years, and just want to, like, uh, get through to that, so it's, a uh, it can be a little bit annoying sometimes. Okay, it's okay. So I just got to get to Magnemite in the levels that he needed to be, so it, it could be, like, a little bit interesting. So, anyways, now that we're almost, like, there, uh, there is, a uh, one thing I want to go to, and that's by going up here, getting the item, and also, uh, battle the, uh, trainer. It's always a good idea to battle the trainer so much, because... Uh, because battling trainers actually takes a lot of, uh, efforts to, like, uh, gain your Pokemon levels. But I also gotta remember to turn on my experience share just in case, because Poplio, I think she's gonna be close to, like, uh, evolving soon, because, um, because once we get into the trials, I'll have to explain to you about that later, so. Don't you dare confuse me. Okay, good. Okay, Butterfree is down. Bye-bye, Butterfree. I mean, yeah, I could do that off-screen, but that's not going to be a problem. So I might as well, like, heal my Pokemon really quick, because, um, Magnemite did a really awesome job. But now, now it's not time to fool around, because, uh, guess what? 
we're going to end on the video right here. I know it seemed like a bit early, but I'm not ready to actually go to like uh, the trials yet. So what I'm going to do is actually talk to these uh, people right here. And uh, I have 25 of uh, them right now, and I have 28 here. And I want to get more of these so that I can go up to 72. I'm going to go up to 15. And there we go. And you there, you are a just a uh, just one of those uh, special ones. Okay, so I can actually have like a I can go up to thirty. Uh, so I'm gonna go up to nine. And there's some heel balls, net balls, and uh, luxury balls, but they're also like a uh, pretty uh, freaking useless. So I mean, not useless. Sorry. Um. When I, what I meant to say is that they can be very useful. It's just that they're really expensive right now. So I'm not going to like uh, really uh, get them right away. Also, I want to get rid of the uh, X attack and X defense. And get rid of get rid of this mushroom. Get rid of this uh, big mushroom here. And silver powder. Uh, boost up power of bug type moves. Um, I can keep that. Um... So that's uh, pretty much it, because there's not much I can actually uh, sell anymore. But uh, also, I want to go. I want to go uh, to the cafe really quick. So, what are you doing? Oh, cool! So, in other words, if you give your Pokemon the uh, Poke Beans as much as you want to. Uh, they will actually, um, he will actually, like, give you rare candy. So, that's pretty much cool. So, I think we're gonna end off the video right here, guys. I know it seemed to be early again, but it's better safe than sorry, because I don't want to, like, uh, over, overclock my time of my recording, because the last time I did that, it cut me off. So, I'm trying to make sure I don't do that. So, I want to apologize if it seemed, like, a little bit too early. And also, like, a too quick of a recording, but I can't really help it because of my fucking phone. So anyway, guys, I think we're going to end up the video right here. So in the meantime, guys, please make a like down below and also subscribe. And if you want to comment to me, please feel free. Hope you guys have a wonderful, beautiful day. Bye!